Hi guys, Mathsman here, and I am back with a new video, and today I'm going to be looking at some protractor basics. So here is an image of a protractor that is quite often used in schools, and behind the image of the protractor, I have an angle there. And what I want to briefly talk about here is how some people get confused between, well, which which set of numbers do they use? Do they use the um, the zero here and look at the inside numbers or do you start zero here and look at the outside numbers okay and here's a little tip for you so in my example here my angle that I want to measure is here and that is closest to the zero there so I start by using the zero there okay another common mistake and that leads to mistakes when reading a um, an angle is people don't actually uh, look people look straight at this line and they go up there and then they they just read the number you know they they take a 50/50 guess at which number to look at so here i could say oh the angle is 129 okay where in fact what you should do is you should start down at the zero and I can see here that this is clearly an acute angle. And then I can follow 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1. If you're just starting out using a protractor, then that is something you should definitely do. Start from the zero and with your eyes, work up where I've put the green mark there until you get to a point where you think, okay, that's about 52 degrees, 52, 51 degrees. So... Now we're going to attempt to draw an angle which is 56 degrees. Now the first thing you should do when wanting to draw an angle is put a mark on the straight line. So I'm going to put a mark on the straight line there. Okay, that's very important. Then I'm going to bring my protractor over. And the protractor should sit okay perfectly on the line not the edge of the protractor where the plastic is but the last black line that should sit perfectly on the line and this part here you're aiming to get that part to sit over the line okay so i'm just going to do that now so i'm just going to sit it over the line so my last black line is sat on the line that I'm going to draw an angle with and the semicircle shape is directly on the line as well. Okay. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to decide, well, which side am I going to draw the angle from? I'm going to do it from the right side or the left side. In this example, I'm going to do it from the left side. So I'm going to be starting from this zero here. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, so there's 50, there's 60, so halfway between this must mean that's 55, and I'm going to put a little mark where I think 56 is. Now, once I've got that mark, okay, I can then take my protractor away. Then, it is just a case of getting my ruler and drawing a straight line from the two marks that I've done. And if I get rid of the ruler, there is my angle, perfectly drawn 56 degrees. Right, let's draw an obtuse angle this time. So again, I'm going to start by putting a line. I'm going to bring in my protractor. I'm going to position it correctly. So it's sat perfectly on the black line. And the semicircle line is also there. So this time I'm going to come from the right side and I'm going to look at this zero, the outside numbers. So there's 10, 20, 30, 
40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, there's 135. Then I'm going to take away my protractor. I'm going to just rub out these dots here because I wouldn't have done that if I wasn't showing it as an example. Then I bring my ruler out. And I match up the dot and where the two lines cross there. Then I draw a straight line, get rid of my ruler. And because I started measuring from this side, that is my 135 degree angle. Now, how do we use then a protractor to actually measure? Well, I have to go through the same steps. I get my protractor. Now, this time, what we're going to be aiming to do is to put the where the, where the semicircle is, we're going to be aiming to put that there this time, right where the angle touches the line. So if I pick up, if I get my protractor out again, sorry, and I sit it over the top, now once I've got it in place, I, I say to myself, well, do I start with a zero here or a zero there? Well, the angle is on the right side, so I'm going to start from the zero here, 10. 20, 30, it didn't quite make it to 40, the line is about there, so there's 35, so that must be, I would say, 36 degrees. As always, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. You might want to check out my next video, which is going to be how to actually use protractors to construct a pie chart. Um, if you would like to see that video, then I'll, I'll leave a card with the playlist. And as always, if you want free maths videos, hit the subscribe button. Thanks again for watching.